Hello and welcome to another edition of Sun Dragon Tips and Tricks. I'm Rebecca. I'm the owner of Sun Dragon Art and Fiber in downtown Brevard, North Carolina. And Monday at my house, as usual, I wanted to film just a really quick message. I plan on doing another tips and tricks today about the pinhole cast on, which I've been using for snowmen and it's really fun. Um, but I wanted to film a really quick message to address some questions I've been getting about trying to recreate what I did with the ranunculus with a different pattern. And I really feel like the ranunculus videos, and thank you so much for watching those and all of your kind feedback, all of your thank yous that I've received, all of the followers I've received from making those videos. I cannot tell you how much I appreciate it. And I love that you're part of the community now. I have a lot of requests for can't you do this with another sweater? And how about this one? This is a sweater I really wanna make, so could you make some videos to help me with it? And I hear that. I hear that the assistance has been great and you would love me to replicate it. I feel like it's a little bit, like the ranunculus was a little bit like lightning in a bottle. First of all, we were already doing a knit along with the shop on that sweater. And then it was a pattern that was done in such a way that each step and each piece of it, I could make videos about without feeling like I was infringing on the pattern writer's work. I could give her credit where credit was due. I could say, here's how you, um, you can work through this and you really do need the pattern. And I wasn't giving away, hopefully, too much of the pattern itself. And it was encouraging people to buy and use her pattern. A lot of other sweaters, there is um, a more straightforward construction to it. It's challenging to do a step-by-step -step on another sweater without infringing on the pattern writer's work, without it coming across as that I am trying to represent it as my own work, which I would never want to do. I really believe moving forward that I need the permission of the pattern writer. I did not get Midori's permission before doing the ranunculus ones, but I was very clear as I went through that this was not meant to replace her pattern. It was meant to be used in conjunction with her pattern and you should really buy her pattern. I feel like moving forward and I've tried to with whatever knit alongs I do, crochet alongs, if I do pieces of it that I get permission first or if I don't get permission, I don't do it. Or, or if they specifically, the pattern writer specifically says, please don't do this because this is my proprietary technique. Um, the other thing I've tried to do is a lot of other sweaters that are out there even including the ranunculus, there are techniques that are common throughout other sweaters. I have a whole sweater playlist about how to understand patterns and what they're asking you to do. And I have a lot of videos that are on very specific techniques that are used in a lot of patterns. So rather than going through like with the ranunculus to say here's step by step, uh, I have a lot of, of techniques that can, that you will find in different patterns. And when you're hitting a spot in a pattern and it doesn't make sense, I highly recommend seeking out one of the videos that I've made that can help with that spot if there is one. And if there isn't, then definitely check in with me to see if I can assist with that or if I can point you towards a video or if I can make a video about that technique rather than step-by-step -step walking you through how to make a sweater, especially if it's an already established pattern that's out there, because then um, I, I really don't want to be in representing someone else's work as my own or taking away from all the hard work that pattern writers have done. I want to be assisting them. Uh, my parents often ask, hey, did you write a pattern for that? Did you make that up? And I say, no, someone else did. And they put a lot of work into it. And that's how I can produce a finished product that looks so great. The, the sweater I'm wearing right now, this is the Sorrel sweater by Wool and Pine. And I get a lot of compliments on it. I would not have been able to do this sweater without their help, without the pattern writer who made the pattern so that I could follow it. Um, so again, moving forward, 
if I ever do a series from start to finish on pieces, and I didn't do every single piece of the ranunculus sweater, but I did a lot of the ones that people might get hung up on with tips to help them do it right. Like the person who wrote, the, the team that wrote this sweater pattern, they have some videos to help you do it right. And so I wouldn't just recreate those without their permission because a lot of those videos come with the pattern when you buy it. So I would really need permission from the, a pattern writer to do something start to finish like that again. And if there's anyone who's made a sweater out there that would like assistance videos to go with them, reach out to me, talk to me, we can see what we can do. But I would never want to represent someone else's work as my own. And that is the danger with assistance videos like these. So um, look through my videos to see if there's help with a certain technique on a sweater. Ask me if there's one you'd like me to make. Sometimes I can, and sometimes it's a little more challenging or it's, it'll be put in the queue and I can't promise when it will be made. But I wanted to put a video out there to address it. So when these questions arise, I can say, here's my video on it. And here's why I will or, or won't be able to do that. I would like to help everybody with everything. <laughs> and sometimes that is challenging. But what is really important when it comes to patterns, there are a lot of, of video series out there that just walk you through how to do something. And that is wonderful. I am a firm believer in all of the hard work that pattern writers have put into their patterns. It is their property. It is, um, they, they deserve the return that they get on those things. Even if say it's a free pattern, the clicks, the likes, the, the follows, I would like to encourage that and not pull away from that. I have videos on, um, on the Papillon shawl and those were done with Marin's permission, the woman who wrote that pattern. Those were done with her permission. And so moving forward, if there's one that you'd like to see, reach out to the pattern writer first to see what they have and check in with them on if they would be okay if I did some videos. And then I would have to collaborate with them to see what's okay to do and what will help promote them rather than detract from them or have someone think that I wrote the pattern when... I don't really do that. <laughs> so I, I really respect the work that other people are putting into patterns to make beautiful things. And what we as knitters and crocheters do is our yarn choices, our sizing, our other choices of, of changing yarns, color manipulation, that's what makes the piece unique to us. So I thank you all for watching and listening. And I hope you respect the message that I'm putting out there and uh, let me know how I can be of assistance, but know that I am going to do my best to respect the work that everyone else has done too. So thank you very much. If you haven't subscribed already, consider subscribing to our channel, giving uh, feedback, comments, thumbs up, all those kinds of things are wonderful ways to help promote this on YouTube and help our community grow. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.